Nine Mutal, the classic timing, uh, something that I never was that good at timing for. Um, we do have four hatcheries right now. Uh, so we do have the hatchery at the top right, which is hard to defend. If Fantasy were to feel this out or get his spidey sense tingling, his fantasy sense tingling, then he would be able to search that out and go try to make a, a offense to take out that base, possibly even drop in some vultures or get some vultures out on the field running around to uh, try to take that base out. I'm assuming that's going to be a sunken where that last drone was. So the defense is going to be up. It is going to be too, too, uh, oh, too late to uh, move out at all because the mutalists are on the field right now. But uh, Fantasy knows that there's going to be something going on up there. Great anticipation by effort, knowing that Fantasy would be going for that. Fantasy checking for, wow, all corners of the map there. Checking for expansions. He basically knows by process elimination now. <laughs> Mutalist kind of going, what, what? He knows by process of el elimination right now that there has to be an expansion at the top right. So Fantasy is going to know about the expansion at the top right. Oh, wow, already picking off a Mutalist there. Uh, getting a good amount, and wow, just great turret placement by Fantasy. You know, one thing that Fantasy is really good at is completely stopping the early game Mutalist Harass in Terran. Um, and that's one of the things that he did against GG Play so well uh, in the OSL Finals where the uh, SK team, that's kind of where they designed that whole Fantasy build for. Um, whether it was him or whether he worked on it with his coaches, probably a little bit of both. Even though he did lose those finals, he was pretty dang successful with the Fantasy build uh, with the Valkyries countering the Mutalisks as well as the dropship play as well. So there's the scan. A great scan going down to see if anything is currently building up. It looks like Effort is focusing on uh, focusing on economy right now, getting that fifth hatchery as we see so often. Um, we could very well see a switch to, uh, to um, Lurkers at any point here, although right now he is currently just going with a Mutaling Force, which is not a bad combination at all. Uh, gonna come in here. Fantasy does not have a whole lot back at home here. Oh man, and no, no turrets at all, uh, or maybe one barely defending that area. Oh, and running into a huge club of Marines. Effort, big miss. Actually, not a big mistake necessarily, but great play by Fantasy. Great anticipation. Uh, just an awesome, awesome grouping of Marines able to take out quite a few Mutalists. So that'll hold Effort back for a little while. There's Fantasy right now. Not a complete mouth breather, complete open mouth player, but does tend to do a little panting now and then. And there is the tank, so Fantasy uh, is not going to go with the straight SK build here. He is going to get the uh, the mech out to assist, which I think is a wise choice. And, you know, not a lot going on right now. Um, you'll notice there's you know more minerals saved up right now for effort. I don't know if Everett's trying to decide what to do here. Okay, it looks like he's starting to finally spend starting to try to get some units out. <clears throat> I think that was the pivotal moment. He was trying to decide what he's going to do here. I don't know if he's going to stay with the Mutalists. Obviously, Mutalists are important to have on the field. Um, I have a feeling he's going to... Yep, there are the Hydralists. Okay, all right. So the Hydralists did come out, as I would mentioned before, <clears throat> and another hatchery going down. I think that makes six hatcheries. So uh, we're going to see some extreme uh, three-base macroing going on here by effort to try to overrun um, to try to overrun Fantasy, who currently is running on two bases. That is okay at the moment. Um, that is matched as far as the economies go. So Fantasy's two bases, two efforts, three, by that I mean mining bases, of course. Fantasy at this point is probably going to be thinking about building a uh, another command center here in the next couple minutes to try to move out. But at this point, he really needs to get some map control. He does have the science vessels out now. So uh, Fantasy needs to move out, get some map control. Here come the Lurker army. The Lurkers are... Ready to go in their uh, nice little marshmallow eggs there. <clears throat> um, it just makes me want to roast some marshmallows for some reason. You know what? I have no idea why that is because to me I think they look more like jelly beans than marshmallows. So I'm not really sure why I said that. Maybe I'm just in a s'more mood. Uh, pretty big force coming out here. A good mix of lurkers, lings, and mutalists are going to try to basically stop any sort of push out on the map. Siege should be up for the tanks by now though. So Fantasy should be able to siege up tanks and... Uh, fend off any sort of attack, so it looks like the attack is withdrawing for now. Effort might be happy with a contain until he can get the hive tech up and running and uh, get out into the uh, later game here to try to to try to push in at all the swarm. Or he might go in right now, um, or he might not. Yeah, I'm watching the purple mini map, the ma mini map on the left there. Oh, Siege is still upgrading, that's what they're showing right now. I think Effort might be afraid of Siege here, which is why he's not going in. But there is no Siege. So, a later siege there for Fantasy, 
that he is really lucky at this point that there is just no Russian right now. Um, even though Effort would lose, you know, he'd use, lose plenty of uh, plenty of units with a Russian. Uh, he could take out a lot more than when the siege goes up. And Fantasy waiting for siege to go up right now. There is the third command center that's going to go up. A, a SCV mining out those minerals. And I feel like something's about to happen here. We're on the precipice here. We are on the edge of uh, somebody sliding off into a battle. Um, and uh, just kind of a, a little mini contain there. Not really going to do anything other than be able to point out when Fantasy moves out to that side. So Fantasy kind of testing that. Uh, knows there's something there. Lurkers are up and they're back down again. All right, Siege is up for Fantasy and uh, some Irradiate. So Fantasy choosing to go ahead and go out the hard way here, meaning that, uh, which is actually a smart move because had he gone out the small way, then Effort would have moved in with a counterattack and uh, that could have been a, a deadly attack there. So Tank's coming out. Fantasy is going to slowly move his way across the map. Oh, and able to take out the Scourge. Good, good micro there. Actually, just bad micro by effort, but a huge attack going in here. Here is the big attack. I have a feeling great matrix there on the tanks. Is this going to be enough, though? Uh, the the tanks right now, not. I, I fear that I think that Fantasy needed a second matrix, but Fantasy is going to be able to defend this off. He has Marines doing nothing at the bottom. They'll bring the Marines and Fantasy do something with those Marines. Oh, I guess he's just waiting for the tank. Good job by Fantasy, able to defend that off. Not a bad attack by Effort, but notice how that only took out two tanks. Fantasy is running strong right now. Um, granted, Effort at this point is running three bases, but Fantasy, okay, so there is the fourth base. Um, Zerg players tend to like to get that base at the top left or at the top, uh, at the bottom right next to their opponent there. Just because it, it uh, is something that uh, a lot of times you kind of forget to check out when you are the Terran player, when you're the opponent on the left side or the right side. All right, so a lot of units here. Um, once the, I think that Fantasy is at a critical point here where he needs to push in and he needs to get some kills before the swarm tech comes out, before the hive is finished. Um, the hive is probably even finished right now. Uh, meaning that the filer is going to come out. There's the dropships. I didn't see the dropships getting produced. Beautiful drop by Fantasy. Going to counter that. Meaning that Fantasy is going to take the economic lead if he can keep that command center up and running at the bottom left. Well played by Fantasy. I love seeing Fantasy do dropship play. He is so good at dropship play. There is the hive. There is the defiler. Um, the defilers are going to be uh, are, are going to be being hatched right now. And uh, it looks like the uh, the little force actually able to get quite a few kills.